Hey, today I will be reviewing the 20 inch Cree LED light bar made by Colite. I purchased this light bar and the respective wiring harness on Amazon.ca and for some reason the one with the wiring harness doesn't have Prime but nonetheless the product came within a matter of days. Um, in the box you receive the 20 inch Colite LED light bar, two sets of adjustable mounting brackets and the screw set. If you order the wiring harness uh, you also get that but that comes in a separate package. Right out of the box you can notice that this is one quality light bar. This isn't some cheap light bar that you get for 30 bucks, it's made out of plastic and it's going to break. Um, this external housing is made out of a die cast aluminum alloy which makes it very rigid and can withstand a good beating. The front polycarbonate lens is again built to last. Um, Colite really thought of this and made their bar very rigid and uh, pretty heavy duty. This lens is extremely tough and will take anything that gets thrown its way. The two sets of brackets that come with the light bar are again made out of that rigid aluminum so you can be assured once it is mounted it will stay on. The wiring harness is very typical of your standard harness. Long wires allow you to mount this anywhere on your vehicle or if you have it on a tractor, you know, it's going to reach wherever you want to put it. Um, and it's going to allow you to bring that switch also into your cabin, wherever. Uh, I decided to mount this light bar on my front crossbar up top, uh, but it can be mounted really anywhere you want. As you can evidently see, this light bar is bright. Like, holy smokes, I was pretty blown away. I cannot get over how bright it is. With an IP68 rating, this light bar will stand the test of time. So far, I've not seen any signs of condensation build up behind the lens. Uh, I know that's been a big problem for some of the cheaper light bars out there, um, but Colite has really made this a good product. Uh, yeah, so far I've been using it for just over a month and I'm really, really happy with how it's been working and holding up. Here's a side-by-side -side of the high beams on the left and the light bar on the right. Once again, light bar just uh, blows the stock stuff out of the water. What stood out the most to me is how well the floodlights do at lighting up everything at the peripherals. This is great when you're driving down the back roads at night as it will keep uh, any of those animals about to cross in sight allowing you to avoid hitting anything. Here I wanted to show you the difference between driving with my high beams on versus with the light bar. It has the perfect combination of a flood and spotlight. As you can see from the ring and concentrated center, this light bar will do a great job of lighting up the road far ahead of you. This light bar really puts my stock high beams to shame. It really makes them seem like parking lights. It's a bit hard to tell the extent of the range due to filming at night, but again, the light bar projects significantly further and wider than my stock high beams. I was able to see the full outline of this farmer's field with the backs of the trees being you know, a few hundred meters away. This is one solid product. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for quality light bar that's not too expensive. Uh, it really has probably the best bang for your buck out there. Uh, and for what it's supposed to do, it certainly would rank among the best at being the brightest and lighting up the road out of you.